this is escalating, Bruno. I'm- I'm gonna take you to the hospital. Alright? I- I don't trust this. Oh, uh, no. No hospitals. Oh. My. God. Bruno, this is no time for the whole I'm Bruno Domenico, I'm tough, I don't need any help, Schnick. We're going to the hospital, and that's that. I will drag your ass there if I have to. Oh, oh, fuck me. Okay, okay. But we'll take my car. Are you okay with getting up on your own? Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, man, fuck. At least I can still do that. Okay, but take it slow. Oh, mm, Christy. What? What is it? Why did you stop? Call 911. Bruno? Oh, God. Bruno! Hello? Christy? Uh, what is it? Why are you crying? What? When? What hospital are you at? Okay, I'm on my way now. What is it? Br Bruno's in the hospital. Please wake up, Bruno. I can't do this alone. And if we are all lucky, he never wakes up. Or does us in the world a favor and just dies. You think my brother should die? No, oh, Pat. Do they have any idea on what happened to him? No, Ma. Please, Christy, unburden yourself, sweetie. What is it? Well, I, I might be sticking around a bit longer, Stella. You, you're gonna be a grandmother. Do you know where he was before all this? The last place he was at was at my cousin's wedding. He left there and then Christy called him because she wanted to see him. When he got to her place, he started to complain about his stomach. You know, Bruno, just being Bruno, thought he'd had too much lasagna to eat. But I've seen that animal eat and eat, and nothing's ever phased him before. Suddenly, he began to feel worse. Christy wasn't buying his tough guy act. When he finally decided to go to the hospital, that's when he passed out. Yes, yes, I know how it works. I've watched and I've read Captain America. I'm just as torn up as you are about Bruno's current predicament. <sighs> Listen, Nico, Bruno's the reason why I'm calling. He's in the hospital. What? The waiter? You think so? We need to find that waiter and talk to him. And Bruno didn't blink an eye? They must have done something with Bruno's drink. They found the waiter's body in the alley, behind the banquet hall, the next morning. Listen, Joe, whatever happened to Bruno had nothing to do with me. Archie, que isto não ayuda, que apai o bastardo who did this. Bruno had stopped by her place. That's where he passed out. Christy made the 911 call. If you don't call a Bruno to come in and see you, then Bruno, being Bruno, desta ragazzo, he had driving the car instead of passing out at your home. In that case, Dad, stop standing here feeling sorry for yourself and get out there and find out who did this. But I also know when you're hiding is something from me. I am going to be a grandmother, and I would very much like for my son, your grandson, to be awake when they are born. Hello, sir. Agent, I gather you have the footage with you? Archie, Tessa, this is my cousin Nico. Bruno, I never ever thought I would ever see him like this. I'm Reagan. It seems you did pick a good time, though. You were with Bruno? I know he brought Bruno his drink just before 11. He's too bastardo. And that lady is out back killing the waiter. And just why did you call him? Things are in motion as we speak regarding my son. And when he wakes up, he will have a big decision to make about his future. <sighs> Amelia, have you not figured it out yet? Wait. There's Bruno walking to his car. Okay, Bruno drives away and... Hold on. That doesn't look out of place. That guy coming out? That's him. Bruno's mom knows what's going on. Joe, we don't kill him. We need information on who this troll is. Porca miseria putana e morto. He's dead. We need to go to Troll Town. It was death I saw. It was the Grim Reaper I saw. Why did it say me? But it was the way you said it, Bruno, if you're over Christy, as he's saying. And you shouldn't get so worked up with how I say, okay. I let myself be manipulated and ended up hurting Bruno. I won't let you or anyone else ever do that to him again. Uh, I do not need to manipulate my son, Christy. 
but I will make sure he will do what is best for him and his child. Yeah, yeah. Nothing wrong, nothing creepy at all, walking towards that place. What could possibly happen? Honestly, Pat, you and your brother should learn a thing or two about patience. Pat's right. What's to stop them from coming at us? Much as they dislike humans or anything that is not them, they do respect a great warrior. How about you cut out the bullshit stuff I and tell us, what are we want? You may intimidate the others, but you don't intimidate me. Did he just put his finger up his nose? He did. Now, Malik, I want to know who in Troll Town is adept at making and mixing poisons. Un nigato anis legal. Joe Domenico. What are you talking about? We know you supplied the poison to try and kill him. But why would you give him a sleeping potion? To protect him from the two people who want to kill him.